All right, man, talk to talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. So today I'm going to be listening to academics talk about your boy Drake putting a song out and his record label blocks his song off of his Instagram. So before I get into that, <clears throat> this is Torture Talk. They call me the Hidden Gym. If you like the content, if you ain't subscribed, please consider subscribing. If you would like to donate, Cash App will be on the screen. Links is in the description. If you don't have any funds to donate or you just don't want to donate, you don't have to. You could just, you know, you being here is good enough for me. Also, too, I don't sell no merch, but I do have content. You know what I'm saying? And that's free. All the beautiful ladies put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. I should say, you know what I should say? All the single beautiful ladies put one in the chat. And all the fellas waiting on no bullshit. Y'all know where the ones at. That's what I should be saying. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Repeat that. And, uh... <clears throat> yeah, man. So if you you know wherever you're from, just put where you're from too. I would love to know where you're from. All that good stuff. All right, so look, man. We gonna get right into it. You know what I'm saying? Let's do it. <laughs> we'll get right into it. Let's do it. All right, man. So let's get to it. Let's do it. Speaking of which, and hey, these labels, you know, as we talk about these artists and how much they're bosses and they have this and third, man, we all we all realize the labels are the real true bosses. Uh, Drake's Finsta just posted that, you know, he's been posting a bunch of unreleased, like, you know, fr seemingly free music. You know, he dropped 100 gigs, but he's been posting a bunch of stuff. So he posted something to his Instagram, right? And it was supposedly like some unknown, unnamed song, but it's one of his songs. And essentially what happened is that Universal Music Group actually put a claim in to take down that song. Now, Drake is putting it up, and it's kind of ironic because it's Drake's song. Drake's putting it up, and his own label is saying, take this down. And, I mean, there's not much to really, like, kind of, like, hypothesize about this other than the fact that no matter if you're Drake in this industry, and actually, especially if you're Drake in this industry, if you just got $400 million from a Universal Music Group, right? And, by the way, IFPI is this organization they use for a lot of these takedowns. Trust me, I know. Uh even if you're Drake in this industry, or especially if you're Drake in this industry, and you've gotten $400, 400 million dollar deal, they want to make sure no penny goes accounted for or not accounted for. <laughs> man, I tell you, man. Open the closet up and pull out the saddle. High level. Dick riding, these niggas be doing. These niggas is like, they're like Johnny Cochran. That's what these niggas are. I'm going to start calling these niggas Johnny Cochran. You know what I'm saying? The Cochrans, all these niggas. Rest in peace to Johnny Cochran. But the Cochrans, man. The Johnny Cochran's over here. <laughs> High level dick riding. Oh, Drake, even if you're Drake. Like, listen, bro. You already know that these record labels control everything that that nigga do. There's nothing he can do. They got him by the balls. Even your God can't even post anything because when the universe speaks the gods listen and universal is the universe and all these record labels they're the the celestials they're the higher beings the beyonders the dr manhattans when they speak when they speak your century listen your Superman, listen, can't do nothing with them. You know what I'm saying? 
He's beholden by the dollar. So look, your boy, I seen the saddle in your closet. For. They want to make sure that nobody is playing their music for free. I've always said the, the, the protections of Drake's music is more stringent than I've ever seen with any other artists of current day. Why? Because Drake's music streams the most. So that's money. That's the most amount of money that this label could possibly get within rap. And they're not going to have people get this music for free. So, again, here's the thing. They're basically telling Drake, no, nigga. We know that you just went through a battle and you're trying to do this little PR thing or you're trying to like be cool and edgy and drop some of your music for <laughs> Oh man, I could I could just imagine if this was Kendrick all the what he would be saying right now if this was Kendrick, if this was Kendrick I can imagine if this was any other artist but for somehow the Johnny Cochran's, they got to pull out that, that handbook, the excuse handbook and go to page 3,028. I said 527 last time, but they all way in the 3,000s now, 3,028. <laughs> in this book, that book is never ending. Cause they write it as it goes along. It's like a living constitution. It's like it constantly goes on. The excuse book for Drake, the excuse Bible. It constantly goes. The book gets thicker every time you look up. That shit like goes from like this to like this to like this to like this to like this. You're like, damn, that book got thick as shit. Yeah, yeah, I wrote some, I wrote 10 excuses for that nigga yesterday. And any nigga can do it. That's the crazy thing. Any nigga can write these excuses, and a lot of niggas do. It's crazy. Some of the wildest excuses you ever seen in your life is in that book. Free, but this ain't how it go, buddy. You're gonna have to send us your music. Well, not necessarily send us the music, but you the music has to be policed by us, right? We have you in contract. It's our shit, okay? And when we did our deal, we give you four hundred million dollars. It says we have the right to administer. Uh, um, and, and utilize the rights of your music, even if it means taking it down from your finsta. Now, I'm pretty sure Drake's going to make one call and they'll probably stop, right? They won't fuck with that account anymore. But it just goes to show at, uh, um, Universal Music Group is probably not happy that Drake is releasing for you. <laughs> Where the saddle at, nigga? <laughs> Pull a saddle out. These niggas be doing some high level dick riding, man. I'm telling you, I've never seen nothing like it. I'm telling you, man. So you making excuses for him again. Just just say he's beholden to the, you know, to the universe, man. They got him. He could make one phone call about his own music. You think about that? He making a phone call about his own music. Is it really his music? So now let me get this right. Let me get this right. I just let me let me get this right. I want to sound like I'm on Power 105 or some shit, right? Let me get this right. So look, so Drake, right? Drake. So Drake, he got people writing for him, and he don't even own the stuff that they wrote, and he got people telling him what he can put out, what he can't put out. So how? Can you say that this man is the GOAT? I just don't understand that. I don't understand. I don't understand. Free music. Now, this is where I think Drake is smart. Like, very smart. Hey, when you get in a time like where he's at right now, where like some people are doubting you culturally, you want to drop music on a SoundCloud. You want to drop music in the middle of the night. You want to almost get back on it. Like, you know what Drake is doing? That's the new mixtape, right? It's, it's like I'm dropping music. In <laughs> this is some high level. I swear to God. Yo. Oh, man. Even when he's losing, he's smart. Oh, shit. Yeah, man, look. This is what Drake's smart at. Even when he's losing, he's smart. Even when he lost, he is in a better position. 
Just, yo, I, I swear to y'all, man, I never seen nothing like this. This is, this is high caliber. I'm talking like the, the Wiz Khalifa dick riding, like next level high skyscraper dick riding. Like, <laughs> I can't believe this shit, bro. A mixed tapey way where people don't feel like it's an official release, but I'm still feeding the streets, right? Here's the thing, Universal Music Group don't understand that. They're, they're like, they move like a bot. They're like, all they see is what, free music? Oh, let's stop this bullshit, right? But in reality, Drake is just giving us free shit to kind of not only remind us why we fuck with him, but to also kind of feel it out to get the new hit. And whenever <laughs> the new hit pops off, he- <laughs> Yo, this shit is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, he got you, niggas. He got you. He got you. Damn, I never seen nothing like it. I never seen nothing like it. It's crazy. Gonna announce some crazy shit coming. You know, that's he kind of does that all the time. Universal Music Group, once again, big labels never understand. What Drake did with 100 gigs um, on your head top, that's a smart move. What Drake is doing by trying to tease some of these songs, that's a smart move because, you know, is it really a smart move, though? Nobody even cares anymore. He dropped that shit, and nobody cares. Everybody reacted to the songs. Some people said they liked it. 90% of the people said they was trash. Like, trash. So I don't, I don't, what I don't get is how you sitting here saying that this is, that was a smart move. All he did was drop three songs that was mid to trash, and... A bunch of videos, and one of the videos, he's, he's he's basically coming at J. Cole, dissing J. Cole, and in the other video, he's telling his mom that he made a song for Serena Williams as if he's a teenager writing a love letter or something. <laughs> uh, she gonna know I'm talking about her. Like, what? Like, come on, bro. He is, he's trying to make it seem like he's that interesting. I got news for you. I got news for you, Johnny Cochran. He's not that interesting. People like his music, but nobody's checking for Drake to see how interesting he is. Nobody, nobody cares. And on top of that, I heard that the nigga's wearing a lace front. A lace front. Like a lace John. Like the, like the John... The John John, like you, you, you glue it down. Is that the lace front? Is that a lace front when you glue it? Yeah, I believe so. Cause I'm looking like, well, how the fuck is this nigga hair this long? And how you get braids that fast? This hair was just short. Like, come on, bro. He doesn't want to roll out confidently with a dud. However, Universal Music Group does not understand that, and they show it here when they're issuing takedowns for songs that is not even be able to purchase, or he's not releasing the whole song. He's essentially doing a snippet. You know what I mean? But see, that's what this is what this is what I mean. Like, even his own label don't fuck with him. This this is the thing, right? This is what you gotta understand. If Drake had an open line of communication. With his label, this would have had never happened. Because he would have said, if he said, look, I'm going to drop songs that I didn't release. And I'm just going to drop snippets. And his label or whoever's owning his music, if they had, a, if they were agree in agreement with it, it wouldn't have been a problem. But obviously, they don't care about his put input no more. They don't. They don't care about his input. If it makes sense, if it make money and makes sense, that's all they care about. They don't care about Drake's input anymore. And I want y'all to understand that. He's not going to tell you. This guy right here, Johnny Cochran, he's not going to tell you. You know what I'm saying? Johnny Cochran is not going to tell you. He's not. He's just going to say, oh, Drake's this, Drake's that. He's going to make up an excuse. He's going to do some mental gymnastics flip around all over the place and slide all over the place for him. That's what he going to do. You know what I'm saying? Then at the end of that, pull out the saddle. That's what he going to do. Because he's not going to tell the truth. I, trust me, I know about this because anytime Drake releases snippets, Universal comes after you if you repost it. I know this is a fact. Okay? 
when he like he'll do some shit he'll play some shit in the club if you repost it on your page and your page is big enough they're coming to claim it they're coming to say take that shit down that's drake you get what i mean so uh mr morgan will probably give a call it's to not, universal it's not drake it's universal i want you to understand that. just say that <laughs> say it with me drake is not drake anymore it's universal whoever owns his music that's who it is He's the he's the he's the, the the hand puppet. They got him like this, the hand puppet. That's Drake. Dance, dance, half nigga, dance, dance. That's him, the hand puppet. Uh, Republic people in, they'll get this notice kind of handled, most likely. But it just shows even Drake, and this is a true value of independence. Even Drake doesn't have complete autonomy on his own music. And the people who incentivize him to make music with giving him hundreds of millions of dollars, they won't let that nigga, uh, Jewish or not, that light-skinned Negro will not just sit there and just leak all type of free music. You know, again, keep in mind, you, you know who, um, and by the way, this is an interesting story. I could go down a whole rabbit hole with this one. I won't do it, though. Maybe a story for another day. Think about it. Who releases the most snippets and just songs randomly? Give me some names in the chat. Let me see if y'all y'all are accurate with it. Mad snippets and just drops music whenever, and it don't seem like the, the it feels like the label catches up later. Huh? Who? Come on, give me some names. I would say the weekend. That's who I would say. I believe the weekend is in control of all his stuff anyway. I believe he he, I believe the weekend actually is. A major part of, of uh, the the record label, the, um, the uh, the record label over there, but I believe EXO owns he owns all his stuff, but he also is a part of Universal. But his deal is a little bit different from Drake's. He didn't sell. I don't think he sold his stuff to. Uh, I think he. I don't think he sold his catalog to anybody. I I just don't see the weekend doing that. Nah, not Drake, not Gunna, uh, uh, not Boat. I'm surprised they're not like I'm surprised they're not saying it's really one name. Uh, and it should be two names, but one of them should be eliminated for the second thing I said. It's not Cardi because Cardi will drop the snippet, but you never get the song. It's NBA YoungBoy. NBA YoungBoy will drop a song at 2 a.m. The song will be up on his YouTube, only his YouTube. Man, nobody would have never guessed that shit. Get the fuck out of here, yo. Nobody would have never guessed that. Nobody would have never guessed that. And don't get me wrong, NBA Youngboy is pretty big, but nobody would never guess that. You know what I'm saying? He's big in this. He's to me, NBA Youngboy is he is big in a small pond. You know what I'm saying? He's big in a small pond. But Drake, I would say, is big in a big pond. You know what I'm saying? He's big in the ocean. NBA Youngboy is big in a lake. That's just that's the best way I can put it. You know what I'm saying? He's big in a lake. For like ten days before it gets on Spotify, so the labels are playing catch up with him, but they never like usually. And by the way, he went through those fights with Atlantic. Remember, he used to like post in his like description, "Yo, they don't want me to drop me." He went through a lot of fights with them because usually a label don't want you just to drop some shit random sporadically without them get it without them ingesting it into the system that it could be monetized properly. So Young Boy went through that fight with them heavily, right? Like, think about it. Why do you think that young boy dropped his song, his song on my page? He he dropped Tears of War, which is a remix of a Rick Ross song, but he dropped it on my page. Number one, I believe the way how, which this is also, I don't know if y'all know, the way how Atlantic worked with, with, with young boy over time, they almost damn near took over his YouTube, where like all the revenue was just coming to them. So that was their way of like, all right, nigga, you're going to drop all the time. Okay, as long as we're collecting the money, cool. We don't give a fuck. Right, and we'll get up on Spotify later. Um, but and this speaks to a bigger problem with the music industry, and this is why I like what Kendrick said: the IP is by me. You know what I'm saying on on the broccoli freestyle or the broccoli snippet. You know what I'm saying. I think that he's he's on this. Kendrick is on to something. I don't think he's gonna he's gonna put it out there eventually. But this goes to show you, even Drake. One of the biggest artists in the world. Matter of fact, all of the biggest artists in the world, except for a handful. But Drake, I would say Eminem, Drake, 
And that's why that was one of the reasons why Joe had a problem with Eminem. Cause he feels like Eminem, his label controls him, even though he's Eminem. You know what I'm saying? Drake is another one. He's his his label controls him. You know what I'm saying? And they gotta do what they tell him to do. They can't just put out no mixtapes no more. They can't just do random freestyles and shit like that. They just can't do it. So, yeah, man. The, 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 this speaks to a bigger problem with the music industry, and I'll talk about that at the end. Let's go. You know, I, what I honestly think, he's negotiating some shit right now. So, you know, it, it's like a leverage thing. Anyway, all right. D just to show y'all, even Drake gets his shit removed because, again, being a artist signed to a label, a, a when the label done gave you $400 million, they want their $400 million back, Right. And I know it's convenient for Drake right now to be like, oh, I don't know when I'm dropping. Oh, I'll be seeing you in the fall, whatever, whatever. I'm pretty sure they had a schedule in mind of when Drake was going to drop that they could get it compensated. And him leaking free music or allowing free music to circulate was not part of the plan. So they, they, they nabbed him. It's all good. All right, man. Yeah, so look. Um, this speaks to a bigger problem with the music industry. And a lot of artists are not, they're just giving up everything for money. And the music industry is always going to be in control because it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like working for a, a service, right? Let's just use the ride share service, for example, Uber or Lyft. At first, when you, when you work for somebody like Uber or Lyft, right, you, you start out, you start out, they start out paying, it starts out like 80, 20, you know what I'm saying? They take 20%, you get 80%, right? I think the music industry was a little bit different from that. Maybe in the beginning it wasn't. I'm just speaking from the beginning. Now you would say it's, it would come to be where it would be 50-50. Now it's 60-40. They take 60, you get 40. The music industry is more like 99-1. 99%, you get 1%. And it's all your work. But they feel as though since they provide everything else that's the, the they give you the advance money, whether it's a million dollars, two million dollars, five million dollars, a hundred thousand dollars, whatever. They give you the money, startup money. That's basically, it's like drugs, drug dealing, startup money. They give you the startup money and you go and it depends. And now most people, what they do, when they get these events or they get these startup deals or these money or whatever, they go what? They go buy jewelry and cars. And then they have their mans who's not popular, who's not known, make their beats for them. Instead of them going to get somebody like, let's say, uh, I don't know, let's say Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre might want a million. They say you got two. You give Dr. Dre a million, nine times out of ten, you've got a hit. You got a hit. Now, if it's going to be a number one hit, but you got a hit, you know what I'm saying? Now, a lot of these producers, a lot of these rappers, they want to work with one with one person, and that one person could get them to the next level. That If that's their friend, their friend know their sound, they can keep it going. That's what happened with Drake and 40, right? Drake and 40, that's what happened with them. But for the most part, these rappers, at least from back in the day, I don't know how it works now, but from back in the day, these rappers got money. The record labels gave them money, and they went and brought Lambos, cars, uh, uh, houses, buying shit for their aunt that they never seen in, in, in 20 years, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And they got all this jewelry, the jewelry. Oh, I, I'm walking around with, with a half a million around my neck. And it's like, bro, you brought, you spent $500,000 on a chain and your cousin, your uncle, your sister, your brother, all is still living in the hood. They got nothing. And you spent $500,000 on a chain just so they can see you. People can see you with the chain on. Shit is out of control. I never seen nothing like it. It's crazy to me. And I'm going to get a shirt made that says, I never seen nothing like it. <laughs> I'm sure y'all would buy that shirt. But still in all, 
This is the this is this is what happens in the record industry. Now, rappers can literally stop doing everything. And the record industry will collapse. But see, you got to understand these people got so much reach, so much money. They have so many, they have their hands in a lot of things. So they can block you from a lot of things. They can stop you from this. They can stop you from that. But I still think that the record industry has been getting over on artists for so long that the artists don't even care. As long as they can get, as long as they can get a crumb of the piece of the pie, they don't care. The pie is the pie is as big as my table. My table is pretty big. That's the pie, right? They get a speck. I'm talking like a million dollars to them is life changing. But the pie is $30 trillion. And they just give you a, a crumb here, 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 little nigga, here, little white boy, here, take that crumb. And they okay with it because they've been getting over for so long that we're okay with it. We're all okay with it. it even in YouTube, everywhere. They've been getting over on us for so long that we okay with it because that type of money, nobody will ever see it. Now them, you'll never see these faceless people. You'll never see them. They have all the money you could even think of and you'll never see them ever. These people live inside of mountains. I'm talking like literally mountains open up and they fly inside some shit like that. So either way, man, I don't know if you ever seen a movie called Ex Machila. If you had never seen that movie, go check it out. And that gives you a glimpse of how some people be so rich. And they, and they just sit and do nothing, but doing a lot. I ain't going to say do nothing, but they'll sit and do something, create things or whatever. But they so rich that they got so much money that they don't even know what to do. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of these, a lot of these artists, they just feed the narrative. They slaves to the jewelry, the cars, the hoes, the clothes. They the slave to that. And no matter what, they'll never change. And how this relates to Drake is Drake is one of those people who sold all his material. Well, we can argue whether it was his material, but he sold it all. And now he can't even post his own stuff that he did. That's crazy. So even him. But either way, man, what you talk, you know what it is. See y'all. Peace. I'm out of here. <laughs>